Hello friends, welcome to my channel Explore with Jyotha. Today I am going to tell you all about the Akhan Bharat, which is also known as Greater India or United India. Before starting this video, I request you to subscribe my channel to get more fascinating videos like this. And don't forget to like and share. Now let's move on. India is a country in South Asia whose name comes from the Indus River. The name Bharata is used as a designation for the country in their constitution, referencing the Asian mythological emperor Bharata, whose story is told in part in the Indian epic Mahabharata. According to the writings known as the Puranas, Bharata conquered the whole subcontinent of India and ruled the land in peace and harmony. The land was therefore known as Bharata Varsha, which means the subcontinent of Bharata. Archaeological excavations have discovered artifacts used by early humans, including stone tools, which suggest an extremely early date for human habitation and technology in the area. It is the birthplace of four great world religions, Hinduism, Jainism, Buddhism and Sikhism, as well as the philosophical school of Charvaka, which influenced the development of scientific thought and inquiry. The inventions and innovations of the people of ancient India include many aspects of modern life, including drainage and sewer systems, public pools, mathematics, veterinary science, plastic surgery, board games, yoga and meditation, as well as many more. The term Akhand Bharat can be translated as Undivided India, which includes present-day India, Pakistan, Bangladesh and parts of Afghanistan, Nepal, Bhutan and Myanmar that were historically part of Indian subcontinent. The Mauryan Empire, which formed around 321 BCE and ended in 185 BCE, was the first pan-Indian empire, an empire that covered most of the Indian region. It spanned across central and northern India as well as over parts of modern-day Iran. Cyrus II of the Persian Achaemenid Empire invaded India in 530 BCE and initiated a campaign of conquest in the region. Ten years later, under the reign of his son Darius I, northern India was firmly under Persian control. Persia held dominance in northern India until the conquest of Alexander the Great in 330 BCE, who marched on India after Persia had fallen. The Mauryan Empire came into being when Chandragupta Maurya stepped into the vacuum created by Alexander of Macedon's departure from the western borders of India. The Mauryan Empire supplanted the earlier Magadha king to assume power over large tracts of eastern and northern India. At its height, the empire stretched over parts of modern Iran and almost the entire Indian subcontinent, barring only the southern peninsula tip. Chandragupta subjugated the border states, recruited an army, marched upon the Magadha king, killed its tyrannical king who was despised by the populace and ascended the throne. He thus founded the Mauryan dynasty. In his rise to power, he was aided and counseled by his chief minister Kautilya, also known as Chanakya, who wrote the Arthashastra, a compendium of kingship and governance. Chandragupta embarked upon an aggressive expansion policy. Seleucus I Niketar, who was Alexander's satrap for the Eastern Macedonian conquests, was defeated and had to cede the entire territory under him to Chandragupta, along with a daughter and considerable money. He also sent Megasthenes, who wrote the Indica, to the Mauryan court as the Greek ambassador. Chandragupta used marriage alliances, diplomacy, trickery and war to extend his kingdom. Under him, the Mauryan Empire stretched from eastern Iran to the western borders of Burmese hills and from the Himalayan tribal kingdom to the southern plateaus of peninsular India. After ruling for about 25 years, Chandragupta abdicated in favor of his son, Bindusara, and became a Jain monk. Bindusara maintained his father's large dominions efficiently and extended the southern borders to cover the peninsula plateau of India. When he died, his son Ashoka seized the throne after a fratricidal succession dispute. The empire that Ashoka inherited was large, but a small kingdom on the east coast, Kalinga, was outside its pale. Ashoka decided to conquer it. The war that ensured was bloody and long 
Kalinga resisted to the last man but fell. The Kalinga war included one of the largest and bloodiest battles in the Indian history. Ashoka was moved by the violence, slaughter and sufferings to the combatants and the non-combatants in the war. As a result, he decided to follow the path of Dhamma and instead of violence and battles, he went for Dhamma Vijaya. After Kalinga, Ashoka did not attack any kingdom but proceeded on a mission of peace. Ashoka became focused on providing a better state for his people to live in, focusing on public work. This included the digging of wells and planting of trees along roads in order to provide shade and water for any travellers. He also sought to provide greater care for the elderly and allowed for greater religious freedom with his kingdom. He erected several pillars throughout his kingdom, exhorting people to give up violence and live in harmony with each other and with nature. He actively patronized Buddhism, built several stupas and repaired older ones and sent evangelical missions abroad, two of which comprised his own son and daughter. The Mauryan Empire was divided into four provinces with the imperial capital at Pataliputra. From Ashokan edicts, the name of the four provincial capitals were Toshali in the east, Ujjain in the west, Suvarnagiri in the south and Takshila in the north. At the center of the structure was the king who had the power to enact laws. Kautilya advises the king to promulgate dharma when the social order based on varnas and ashramas perishes. The Mauryan Empire is the first great political entity to unite most of India and expand into the Central Asia and Middle East. Major Cities of the Mauryan Empire Pataliputra Pataliputra was the capital city of the Mauryas. At its height, it was even bigger than Rome in terms of its size, population and economy. It was described as one of the most beautiful cities around the world. In present day, Pataliputra is known as Patna. It is in the state of Bihar in the northern part of India. Takshila Takshila was the eastern provincial capital of the Mauryan Empire. It was said Chanakya, the chief advisor of Chandragupta Maurya, used to teach in Takshila. Takshila is located in the Rawalpindi district of Pakistan's Punjab province. Ujjain Ujjain was the western provincial capital of the Mauryan Empire. It became part of the Mauryan Empire when Chandragupta Maurya annexed Avanti in 4th century BCE. Ujjain is in Madhya Pradesh in India. Toshali Toshali was the eastern provincial capital of the Mauryan Empire. It is part of the present-day Odisha. Suvarnagiri Suvarnagiri was the southern provincial capital of the Mauryan Empire. Suvarnagiri, also known as Kanakagiri, is a town in Karnataka state of India. Srinagar Srinagar was established by Ashoka in 3rd century BCE and it became one of the major centers of trade in the region. Srinagar is the capital of Jammu and Kashmir. Other major cities of the Mauryan Empire are Kandhar, Patala, Rajgriha, Mathura, Kaushambi, Bidisha and Tamralipti. The Mauryan kings were the first in the Indian history to expand the empire this far comprising most of the present Indian subcontinent except the extreme south. The Mauryan Empire extended far as the modern Afghanistan in the west and Mysore in the south. They not only conquered the states but were also able to rule effectively. There was peace and harmony in the kingdom. They had friendly relations with the kingdoms of the south. Ashoka, grandson of Chandragupta, was one of the greatest rulers India has ever had. So friends, this was my video today. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you want to get more fascinating videos like this, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like and share.